Hi there. Uh, today I'm delighted to talk about the book which is my favourite British crime thriller. And it's possibly even my favourite all-time crime thriller. And it's this book, Carter by Ted Lewis. It was actually originally published under the title Jack's Return Home. Uh, but they changed the title to tie in with the subsequent movie. The book is about an enforcer for a London firm who works for uh, two brothers, and it's not difficult to work out who they're based on. And he returned to his hometown of Scunthorpe, up in the northeast, um, to find out how and why his brother has been killed. And the book is populated by uh, strongly written characters, very vividly portrayed, some repulsive, some ordinary, who are brought to life by Ted Lewis's dialogue. And one critic, actually, when comparing uh, Ted Lewis's books to Mickey Spillane, uh, he said the difference is that Ted Lewis writes literature. And uh, his dialogue in particular and his description of scenes, his description of, um, of, of the locations is, is, is really, really strong, brings them to life really well. Um, there's some set pieces in the book, for example, for example, a card game, which really, really do strike a note of authenticity. Uh, he also gets um, in, right into the underbelly of, um, of the criminal side of a, of a town, um, the gambling, the prostitution, the pornography and so on. It's really gritty in that way. There was actually... Um, Another couple of books written with the same character, um, starting with this one, which was a prequel. And in it, um, Jack Carter uh, is, is, is zooming around London, trying to find a supergrass who's going to um, uh, bring the firm to its knees. And uh, some of the same characters as in the original book, Con McCarty, Peter the Dutchman, the Fletcher Brothers, Audrey and so on. They're in the, the sequel or the prequel, really. And um, the book was, as I mentioned, filmed uh, as Get Carter. As you can see, it was starred, starred Michael Caine, who was absolutely mesmerising in the role. And we often complain about how movies are made uh, from our favourite books. In this case, there's... Um, Absolutely um, no moaning about it at all because the uh, director, Mike Hodges, he made what is probably the, cl the classic British crime thriller. Um, and so you've got the book and the movie, which have both received uh, really equal acclaim for the, um, for the genre, respective genres. Unfortunately, there was an American... A version of the movie made and uh, starring Sylvester Stallone and um, it's one of the worst films ever made uh, I'll, I'll just say that one of the things in it is that they kept the names of some of the characters from Scunthorpe such as uh, Edna Garfoot and Thorpey and uh, it, it just doesn't gel in an American setting but uh, Get Carter as a movie they changed it from Scunthorpe to uh, Newcastle, found some really, really great locations up in, uh, up in the northeast, uh, particularly at the end of the film where th there's a, a, a colliery scene, um, which is, is an amazing piece of industrial architecture, and it really fits in with the whole theme of the film very, very well. Um, <clears throat> Terry O'Neill... Uh, was working on a movie called Quills, starring Michael Caine, and he played Michael Caine's footman, so he was with him in almost every scene. And Terry very, very kindly got Michael Caine to autograph my copy of the book. So that's a particular treasure of a really my favourite book of its type. And uh, I will, if you haven't read it, I'm sure most people watching this will have read it, um, Maybe reread it and watch the movie as well. 